strong. So it's the end of the school year. What are you going to do? So let's talk about archiving your Google Classroom. Where there's two things you need to do. One is archiving the class and the second is archiving in Google Drive. I'm going to go over both of those. So firstly, in Google Classroom, you'll notice here is my example class. You might also notice that I have listed the class year in the section title. I like to do that so that I have a clear view of what the class year is, both here in Google Classroom, also when I archive it, and also in Google Drive, it names the class with the title and the section. So this really helps me keep track of my classes, especially when you start archiving them. So let's get started. It's super easy. All you need to do is go to the Google Classroom landing page. You'll notice you have each of your different class tiles here. You'll just go to a specific class tile and you'll notice in the upper right hand corner there is a three dot right here which opens another menu. All you need to do is select archive. That's all you need to do and then you just confirm that you want to archive that class. Okay, so now that class lives in the archived classes page here. So once you've archived your class, just know that this is completely reversible. All you need to do is click again at these three dots right here and restore this. Um, th something to mention is that next school year, if you want to reuse any of these classes, you'll just go back into this archived class page. You'll find the class you want. You click on the three little dots here and you will click copy, not restore. You're going to want to copy this class. What that does is it creates an active copy of this class. And it copies over title, section, description, course subject, topics, classwork post, copied as drafts with no scheduled date, and your grading system. Things that don't copy are teacher announcements, deleted classwork items, students and co-teachers, student post attachments that you don't have permission to copy. So that's the first step. So first step is actually archiving all your classes. The second step is to go into your Google Drive. In your Google Drive, unless you've renamed this, you have a folder called Classroom. This is the folder that Google Classroom puts all of their classes in it. Now, even though I archived this class, I'll notice it still lives in my Classroom folder. So you're going to want to actually archive this class here. So within the Classroom folder, you're going to want to create an archive folder. The naming convention is up to you, but you might consider something along the lines of the current year. So. So you might want to consider something like the current year and classroom folders. It's totally up to you. Again, your naming convention is going to be specific to how you like to organize things. And then you'll just grab all of your class folders that are here and you'll put them in this folder. That's all you need to do. You can decide whether or not you want to keep these in the classroom folder or drag them out into your drive. That is up to you. But then in the future, you can see every single year will start being listed as you use this convention. So I hope that was helpful. As always, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment down below if you have a request for a specific tutorial. Happy summer!